Dual Boot Windows 11 and Kali Linux. You need to have Kali Linux bootable USB to continue. If you don't have one, watch previous video from description to make one. You can see I have Windows 11. Now to dual boot with Kali Linux first step is to partition disk. For that open disk manager and shrink volume from drive. I will shrink 80 gigabytes. The formula is number of GB times 1024. I recommend you to use at least 50 gigabytes. Now leave shrink space unallocated, then restart your PC. Now you have to go to BIOS and disable secure boot. Most of the time you have to keep pressing and releasing F to key while computer boots. Disable secure boot in BIOS. Then insert bootable USB, then press F10 to save and exit. Then go to boot menu and boot from USB. In my laptop, I can open boot menu using F12 key. You can use Kali Linux without installing by choosing first option. But we are installing, so follow me. We are not using internet, so... Click on go back, then skip current step. Now set username and password. Select first option as we have free space from partition. This is the most easiest way. Now installation process will take long. You have to skip this step as well, as we don't have internet. Now installation is complete. You have to now set Kali Linux to boot first. Where you can select Windows as well, so go to BIOS again and change boot order. You can select third option within 6 seconds to run Windows. Or first option to run Kali Linux. Now you are on Kali. Last step is to update and upgrade Kali. Open terminal and run following command. This will take long, so you can see my channel till then. Thank you for watching.